I would say, uh, one of the most successful schemes we've had in recent years. And I think it's a scheme that has really uh, gone down very well in the council in terms of its completion uh, on the budget within time and towards the right specification. Uh, what this scheme has done is it's provided for the first time in a long time an opportunity to open up this area which is particularly in development land. So my name's Mark Bennett, I work for Network Rail, part of the Orange Army here at Bista North today and um, I've personally witnessed the growth in my railway career of Bista as a town and this Bista Bridges scheme, this is a scheme I've been involved with right from the start and it's fantastic, I'm hugely proud to have played a part in realising the council's ambitions of expanding the housing and employment in this area. So my role uh, was to represent the client, which for this particular job was Oxfordshire County Council. So the council sourced the funding, they sourced the designer, and then they've been working with Network Rail, and we've been working with Story Contracting to deliver two new bridges that have unlocked some agricultural land uh, to the north of Bista. I'm Alistair Thompson, project manager from Story Contracting. We're here in Bista, where we've been delivering a project to construct two brand new underbridge structures together with Network Rail and on behalf of Oxford County Council. The structures carry the Chilton Twin Track Railway line that runs through Oxfordshire between Bista North Station and Banbury. The two structures, one a new concrete pedestrian underpass and the other a new concrete and steel underbridge which will make way for the construction of the new A4095 route which paves the way for further development in this area. Works began here in September 2020, commencing a seven month programme of works to prepare, fabricate and construct the two structures in readiness for the planned 100 hour possession at Easter 2021. With a combined total weight of 2100 tonnes, the two structures were constructed offline to their final position so as to not affect the operational railway. Due to the design, weight and scale of the structures, both were constructed on site using wet pour techniques with a total of 700 cubic metres of concrete utilised. The larger highway underbridge incorporated a new weathering steel superstructure deck as well as part of the design. In Easter 2021, a 100 hour outside rules of route possession was utilised to install the new structures. The team works day and night to remove the track and 21,000 tonnes of earth so that the two prefabricated underbridge structures could be slowly driven into the final positions using modular transport system. Once the structures were in position, 14,000 tonne of imported stone had to be backfilled around the structures and 400 metres of new track relayed, allowing for the reopening of the line and minimising any disruption for passengers. Story Contracting, together with our key supply chain partners, are proud to have supported our clients in the delivery of these underbridges to help traffic and people move more easily around the town in the future. My name's Mike Bell, Senior Site Manager for Story Contracting. I've been on site now down at Bista for the last 11 months. It's been an absolutely fantastic job to work on. The key supply chains that we've used, I just want to put a special mention to them, which is North East Reinforcing, Waitings, Mammut and Hydra Capsule. And most of all, the site team that's delivered this for the last 11 months with me. So from Stories and myself, thank you. So it's been fantastic working with Story uh, Contracting right from the start. Uh, I've been involved in this project, I signed the contract with Story. The safe and professional delivery of the scheme was wonderful to watch in Easter 2021 where Story drove those two bridges, two and a half thousand tonne bridges, into position uh, for the benefit of housing and employment in the Vista area. It's been a fantastic collaboration piece uh, and we're here today at Vista North. We've got a team of, of volunteers here today doing a bit more earth moving and planting uh, and it's the completion, it feels like the final uh, piece in the jigsaw. So I'm really proud and the, the team behind me have uh, really got stuck in today on a quite a warm, warm sunny day at Vista. It wouldn't have been possible without us working with Story. Um, Story were Network Rail's um, preferred contractual partner uh, and I think uh, their performance on this scheme I would say was remarkable. What impressed me was uh, the proactiveness of Story. At times you get a lot of contractors who are a bit reluctant to get involved in that 
aspect of the walk. But they were proactive, but account for story. Uh, in the way they went about the walk, uh, it was collaborative, uh, they were proactive, uh, they were always engaged. Uh, and I think that's what probably led to the scheme being delivered. I think it was a crucial factor in the scheme being delivered uh, on time and under, uh, within budget.